Hello everyone and welcome to Sense in Essence. Today we are exploring our words. What is my intention behind my words? Why do people react differently uh, to what I say to them? Because words can be exactly perfect and positive and nice words. But why sometimes people are rejecting those words I say to them? I need to check that what are my intentions behind those words. For example, my friend is saying that, oh, I am in the trouble and I need to I need to do this and this during the weekend and I really don't have time and energy but I have to. Please help me. And I say, yes my friend, of course I help you. Just please let me know what I need to do. These are very nice and kind words. But do I really mean that? If I just say it because I have to say it, then intention there is not so good. Because my words are in one level, but my feelings and thoughts are completely different. Oh, I cannot help you either. I don't have time and energy either. But there is this kind of feeling that I have to help my friend. And if we take this even further, even when we are sharing spiritual knowledge, which is really good, because spiritual understanding of the spirit within will help everyone to get rid of their sorrows and pains and and suffering. So it is very good that we are sharing spiritual understanding what we have to others. But even then we really need to pay attention that with what intentions and feelings I am sharing that piece of knowledge. So for example I can share Souls are spiritual beings, embodiments of peace, love and happiness. Wonderful, beautiful words. If the intentions are right and there is very beautiful soul conscious feelings, pure elevated feelings, there is the feelings of really wanting to uplift another one from the bottom of my heart when there is this kind of sincerity and when I am in the essence which means I really experience that while I am saying then that energy with what I say it's really the true message because the message I'm giving with my thoughts and feelings and intentions are matching to my words and then it has really powerful effect on the other one. But if I'm sharing the same beautiful sentence, for example, with the feelings of, oh, I am so good because, you know, I have been practicing this soul consciousness and, you know, I know this, but you need to know also. You are so body conscious that, you know, this would be very good for you. It might sound very innocent, but there is subtle arrogance, arrogance that I am better than you. And when this is mixed in those beautiful spiritual words, then my feelings are not in the line 
with what I'm saying. So let's check that we have pure intentions and pure feelings filled with uh, spiritual love. And this is something what we know, because originally we have naturally, naturally been like that. And now we just need to remind ourselves again and again that I am that pure being of light combined with the Supreme and then I share whatever I need to share and then it has great spiritual impact on others. Thank you.